Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a beautiful graphical app stack using Mind the Graph website in really easy and simple way. Let's get started. So guys, the graphical app stack that you can see over here, it's made totally in Mind the Graph. Very easy and simple tool. The benefits that it offers is that you can have a lot of icons and everything uh, without no copyright issue. All these icons are available in Mind the Graph and it's 100% online platform. That means that you are, will have an access to your work 24 hours, anytime you want to access. And the most important thing is that it's made by scientists for the scientists. That means that all the things that are necessary in the research area like uh, biology, chemical, industrial, uh, hydrogen or energy, power, anything that's uh, regarding the scientist or research field, you can easily find the related icons and illustration very easily. So let's just stop wasting time and let's go uh, back to the website and we'll show you how it works. So first of all, as you can see that uh, the, the website is Mind the Graph. You can simply go there, Mind the Graph. All you have to do is that uh, you have to either sign up with Google or you can also sign up with Facebook or you can also just sign up for free. So if you click on sign up for free, it will take you to another let me just open this in another tab. We'll just click it here. Okay, so once I click it here, uh, I will give you an option to sign up with Google or with Facebook. You can add your details for here and then you can log in. So I will just log in uh, right now over here and I will show you how it works. So just to save time, I've already made the poster and I will show you how it works. So this is just a small interface where you can see that there's an option for gallery where you can see what you have, uh, like a uh, small gallery. Let me just show you how it works. So if I click uh, on gallery, it will show me some things like what do they have? For example, the different categories like cardiology, neurology, these icons are always available, surgery, urology, these are the medical fields, okay? So if you want to change these fields, go to some other, you, you can easily have that. So let's go back on the top. I will show you these details in the later, but I will just focus on the what we have done right now. So we're just going to focus on that one right now. So I've already created a creation, which is this one, and I'm just going to click and open it. So as you can see that this is the same thing that I made over here entirely from the scratch and it is easy to do. Also, the website is really smooth and it really helps in making things very convenient. It's not uh, difficult to handle. The The good thing is that it's the mostly mostly like the way you use um, graphics in Word or Dot. But the thing is that these graphics are all uh, provided by this website, Mind the Graph, and you can easily access them anytime. So how does it work? I will just quickly go through with a simple interface how it works. So this is a library. You can see here the different things that you have over here. But the library is empty because I didn't have anything. Then comes the templates that if you want to start with a template, you can just use something like this. For example, if I type something like uh, energy, let's say. If I type something with the category as energy, let's see what it comes up with. So it might come up with different options uh, depending upon what are available. And uh, let me just uh, go on the category. For example, if I want to look in something in the infographic, I'm going to click on here or I just uh, remove the keywords for now. Okay, so let's uh, click on the graphical abstract. It shows different things. For example, fracture red, genetic mechanism, graphical abstract for other things, blah, blah, blah. And then sector, sector. So there are different things that you have. For example, if you go to the posters, then comes the different style posters that you can have or that you can use at the starting point and you can easily see how it works. Very easy and simple. Then comes the icons where you can see different icons options. For example, if I if I part times type something such as solar, let's see where it comes. So we have different options including solar. For example, these are solar panels. For example, if I type wind turbine, so let's see what comes. So if I click on wind turbines, I will have wind turbines, whatever I need. And if I click on any word, like let's say biology, okay? So any word that you have, which is related to your terms, you are going to write it down and it will come. I'm going to remove these ones because these are not relevant to biology. So I will just uh, use the ones which are relevant. So as you can see that you type the word and it searches for you. That's how it all works. Now, people who are working in the chemistry or something uh, related field, you can also search for molecule. Let's say if I type a molecule, let's say water, let's see, it's not a molecule. Okay, let's say, let's uh, don't go in this one. Let's find something else. So if I have some special, let's say, uh, let me type this one, if it might work. Okay, if you write the formula, it will show you something, but for now it's not showing, which is not a big deal. You can easily create also. Also, you can search in the category, which is uh, uh, relatively easier and simple. And if you know, you can also upload those uh, uh, easily using this upload function. You can click here and you can upload any any file anything that you want 
Now coming towards how I made this one, very easy and simple. So first of all, see that these are two slides. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add another slide. And the most, uh, the, the good thing about this one is that, the good thing that I found about this uh, website is that I can easily find icons without redrawing all of them one by one, which you saw that when I ever make a video, I do the icons by myself. So that's a really, really difficult thing, which I sometimes don't like because it takes a lot of time. But the good thing about this is that you don't have to make icons. You can easily do them uh, uh, one by one, or you, you can easily find them in the website over here by just typing simple keywords. Okay, so starting with this one, let's say we have this one and I'm going to, uh, let's say, I'm not going to extend it. But I will, I, will, I will just choose this one. For example, if this is something, I'm going to just copy this slide for, for a reference. I'm going to uh, reset this one. I'm going to zoom out from here. Control all, I'm okay. I'm going to copy it like this one. Okay, so I will just select like this, copy and control C, copy that. And I will go in the slides and go to my second slide. I will paste it here. Okay, here, here it comes. I'm going to just uh, remove this one and I will show you how it works. So for example, if I have to, if I have to make this shape very easy and simple, go to the shapes option and choose the dynamic shapes. So if you click on this dynamic shape, it will come up with a shape and you can easily draw the shape, uh, whatever uh, style the font you want. I'm going to simply click it and write it over here. So now you can see that once I make this one, I can easily change the outline color if I want. I can change it to this one, I can change to this color, black color. You can see that you can see the difference. If I want to choose this one, I can choose this. But if I don't want any color, I can just simply click on the transparent one. Okay. Now, if I go on the color scheme, I can easily change the color scheme to any different color I want, dark color, light color. But if you want to add something else, you can go into more and write the color codes that you like. So for example, if I go do this one, I'm not sure if this color works or not, but I'm just typing random numbers. So, uh, okay, don't uh, judge me. So I'm just going to use this color and just go over here and then you can see that any color that you want, you can easily choose that. For now, it was this one, so we are going to do this one. Now, we are going to write this text here. So you can find this text option here. Go in here, text. Now it asks you whether you want a title, subtitle, or text body. I'm going to use the subtitle or double click here. The subtitle will appear here. And then I'm going to write something like electrification. So uh, this was the published paper. So I choose this one as a sample. So it doesn't have to do anything with uh, the work. It's just an example to show you how you can use it and make it uh, like uh, make, make a sample very easy and simple way in this software. Very easy and simple to do. I'm going to change the font to this one, which I like a little bit more, which I think also looks more reasonable. Now, one thing that if you notice that I'm going to uh, keep it here. For example, these are two layers, like this is separate one and this is separate one. So if I select this one, you will see an option which says bring forward and bring backwards. Similarly, the same thing which is in PowerPoint. If you send it to back, you will see that it goes to the back and this comes to the front. Similarly, if you click on this one, it's, you can see that this becomes a little bit lighter because I've done that thing. So I'm going to send it back and it will show you this thing like. So now if you can notice that this thing is a little bit lighter, which is because I have reduced the transparency. So if I reduce more, it will vanish eventually. And if I increase, it will appear the same color as this one. So normally I keep a little bit light transparency so that it can give a better shape for the diagram. Okay, so now once we are done with this one, I'm going to show you some other steps. For example, how to do add this one, how to add this one, how to add this one and this one. I'm going to delete one of these ones first. So I'm going to show you how you can do this. Very easy and simple. And I'm not going to take much of the time. I'll just show you simple steps and then it will be easier for you to draw the whole diagram. So for example, if I'm going to use a solar, I'm going to double click on the solar and it will appear here. So I'm going to drag this one here. I'm going to reduce the size, bring it here, and that's all. Similarly, I'm going to go to the text option, use the text option here, double click, it will appear here. And once I click here, it will say, I will say, let's say wind power. So once I write wind power, I can easily drag and drop or increase the size or decrease the size. I'm going to make it in the middle. If I want, I can increase the size from here. Or if I want, I can increase it like this also. I'm going to make it a little bit bolder, put it in the center. And similarly, I'm going to repeat the steps from the other, other parts. For example, for instance here, I'm just going to copy and paste just for a reference. I'm going to show you how the other things work. It will save time and also make it a little bit more interesting. Very easy to use, very uh, convenient, and you will find it very easier 
uh, to use this software in most of the times. Okay, let me do the undo a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to put it here and bring it, bring this one over here. It comes like this. I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to group them. So once I group them, I can easily copy and paste. So I've copy and paste it will come automatically together. Now notice one thing, I'm going to paste it here. Let's say if I put it like this, don't worry for this one. I will show you how, it, how you can manage these ones easily and simple way. So select this one, this one and this one. And then go here, which says flip option or uh, align option. You can align them to the center. So once you align to the center, you can easily drag them all together and move them to another side. Okay, so similarly click this one, align this one and align to the center. So once you are done, you can group them. Now you can easily drag them all as a whole picture and move them around wherever you want. Similarly, I'm going to move this one a little bit up, this one a little bit. Now you, you can see that I cannot select this one. The reason why is that it is on the top layer. So if I send it to the back, I can easily move these ones. And then similarly, I can bring them to the top again. Similarly like this. No, okay. So this is not the thing which I'm talking about. So I'm going to send them uh, back again because they are this this is this background is one layer, this is one layer, and these are another layer. So I'm going to bring them to the front again, and in this way the arrows go to the back again. So guys, this is one thing, okay? So very easy and convenient. I have drawn all these things like this. Just write the keywords here. For example, I'm going to write cooking, and I can easily find cooking here. So if I write cooking related terms, I can easily find kitchen. If I write stove, I can find a stove. If I want to write a car, I will find a beautiful car. So this is how it works. Okay, if I write a car, the car doesn't come. So let's say we can use a different uh, keyword. Oh, car comes. It's just, just that I'm doing a little bit more faster and not giving it time to think about it. Definitely it has a car, a lot of cars, and all of these are without copyright. You can use them freely, no problem with the journals, anything, no problem at all. Just simple to use and everything is very easy. Okay, so once you are done with this one, I'm going to back to the slide, this uh, first slide, I'm going to delete this one because we already draw this one, we don't have to draw it again. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit. You can see that this is our diagram. So if I want to download this, I can click on the download option. We have three different options, PNG, TIFF format and PDF. So if you want, you can also use in TIFF. If you want, you can also use in PNG, whatever you like. So if I click on TIFF and if I click on print 300 DPI, I can download it easily like this one. Okay, so now it's downloading, it takes quickly downloads everything and you can easily download it in a matter of seconds. Okay, so I'm, now I'm going to go here, enter another slide, delete the extra portions. Now I'm going to select this one and drag it down into this one. Now you can see, I'm going to zoom in uh, in a slideshow. You can see the colors, you can see the pixels, you can see everything is so good. Everything is aligned, good quality pixels, everything is perfect and the way you want your manuscripts to stand out. So this is an easy way to make your graphical abstract in a really easy and simple way. And I guess uh, I can assure you that using these tools in this website will may really make you help, uh, will really help you grow your work and make your work stand out from other people. So this is all from this side. Now, if you want to check, if you want to uh, use this website, you can just simply sign up and you can also check out uh, what are the options that you have. And if you need to know something else, if you have any questions, please leave your comments down below. So guys, I hope you guys like this video and if hope you have any questions, if you have any questions, please leave your comments down below. And if you haven't watched my previous videos, do watch them. And if you have any comments, please leave your comments down below. Again, till then, take care. Allah.